Good morning, everyone. So today I have a haul for you. Um, a lot of these things actually came in a couple days ago, but I just haven't gotten to it. And then I got an order in from Tonic from just the stuff I picked up, I think, last week. Um, so let's get to it. Was it last week or was it early this week? Either way, whatever uh, links I have in the description box for some of these items, if they're not sold out, will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So I guess I'll start with the HSN stuff because... There's a few boxes for that, or packages. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, this took a long time. Um, okay, on craft day, they also talked about this thing, and I was like, you know what? That makes sense. Um, it's just a little port, I guess, but you can put it like on your phone, and part of one of the reasons I got a new cell phone recently was because my other one was just so full. Like, I literally had no pictures on there because I would just delete them or, you know, move them off because there was no room. I had no apps, so really what was taking up the space was... Um, pictures and stuff that are in um, text messages, right? And it, I, I wasn't going to get rid of those, and it's really hard, other than keeping each picture, downloading them, doing all this. Um, I just moved on. <laughs> it's got another phone with way more uh, gigs in it. Um, I think I got the 512. So that should take a long time to fill up. My other phone was literally 16 gigs. So, um, but you can use this uh, for that, and it has even the USB-C for like the new iPhones and then other phones. I guess you can plug it into different things, but... Um, so yeah, I'll be interested in seeing how this works or if it works well. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Like if I'm going to use it on my phone phone. So it came with that, and yeah, just the receipt. I'm sure there's some info in there. Supposedly it's super easy. It's just like a USB port, you know, and it will take in your information. Oh, this is interesting. These are the um, plates, the Anna Griffin Extended... Uh, plates for the Empress Mini, but it's kind of tore open on the side, so I think everything's there. It feels like everything's there. Yeah. It's all packaged up like this. These feel really nice. How cute. What I was wondering is if the Empress will pick them up, but I think the Empress, the rollers, the way they are, maybe it doesn't register, you know what I'm saying? Because it'd be a lot wider. It doesn't go in this way. This is too wide. It had to go in that way. But they are sold out. I was like, I should have got two sets. <laughs> but again, I don't hardly use the Empress Mini, so I just got them to get them because I figured I would need them at some point. And I hardly use it up because it's not a good machine. It's a great machine. It's because um, I use my marquee and they're basically the same, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and I wonder, I was like, why is this so heavy? What is... Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I thought this was going to be like a whole kit of like maybe the Twas Night Before Christmas that I ordered the whole kit of because it was super heavy. And then last night when I was thinking, I'm like, that box is too small because like it would be 12 inch paper. This is the paper I was telling you I love right now. It's my favorite paper. Oh my gosh. I didn't think 200 pieces of paper would look like this. It's the uh, Ultra Smooth uh, Premium White cardstock. And uh, f for me, it's, yeah, for my alcohol based uh, markers or whatever. It uh, blends really nicely. And, um, and that is what 200 sheets looks like, and this is very heavy. Because I was like, it's even heavier than um, I would think something uh, like a kit would weigh, you know? Super heavy. Alright, so we have that. There are some fun things coming up with Tonic, you guys, and I've been keeping something very secret, so that should come out soon. Um, hopefully I can show it to you guys next week. Um... something that I think is kind of fun. Uh, let's see here. But I believe I'll be able to show it next week, like I said. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay, good. So this is the Twas Night Before Christmas Mega Bundle. You guys know I got the smaller bundle, and then the Mega Bundle came back in stock, or however happened, so I grabbed that, um, basically. So, we've already seen these pieces in the smaller bundle. Ooh, something was really dirty and got on my, on my mat over here. One of these boxes. Um, I love this little guy. And yesterday, oh my gosh, you guys, I had so much fun going through all the Christmas swap stuff. Like, I love Christmas. So, like, even these things, I'm like, ah, I don't know if we're going to do another one. <laughs> Maybe closer to Christmas for people who want to do it then and who didn't get to do it now. I don't know. We'll see. Um, look at this die. So pretty. I think the difference, did this one, did the other one have this? I think it had this too, right? I think the only difference is, like, some of the extra things in the big papers, right? Like, yeah, I think the embellishments and stuff like that. Yeah, because I remember this. I remember this. This is all in the smaller bundle. So cute. 
Um, I think this is all in the smaller bundle too. The uh, embossing cut and emboss folder that opens the little window up. We have the uh, musical notes embossing folder. And then these guys. These are just dies, which I think are really cute. I love the little acorn. Or pine cone, should I say. Acorn. Anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. So these are the things that are different from the smaller kit to these kits. And they did have some of these things sold separately, like in an embellishment bundle, I guess. But um, little jingle bells in different colors and sizes. That's really sweet. You can see them. Um, mixed ribbon. Yeah, three of each. It says doesn't really say the length of each one but yeah but really pretty velvet ribbon and then this one with the stripes and the gold the gold twine ooh this is fancy <laughs> that's so cute um just festive embellishments it says which is just a bunch of like dried stuff the little pine cones <laughs> and like uh, little bells and stuff for bolitas i don't know um <clears throat> Which that stuff is getting out of the packaging somehow. Just some like little brown pieces in the box. Okay, this is the paper that we had last time. So this is basically the smaller kit without the embellishments. But just so pretty. It's double sided, which I love, love, love. And you know what's kind of interesting? I think Crafts of Pine themselves just launched the Twas Night Before Christmas on their site. And what they used to do is that they would launch things after they had it on HSN and the price would be ridiculously lower. And I was like, I was always like, okay, I guess I'm not gonna buy it from HSN anymore. I'll get it from Crafters Companion. Then all the pandemic stuff, even before that, there was a bunch of issues with the customer service, not customer service, because they'll take care of things, but after a while. Um, with things missing in my orders, like I don't even talk about that anymore, because honestly, that was like a year ago and I haven't really ordered from them for like over, about a year now, right? Because we're in July and it was, I was always ordering and then I finally was like, why do I keep doing this like if someone keeps messing up your orders you're just gonna stop ordering and I just kept ordering and I was like ah forget it so I would order from HSN or craft stash the same kind of things that I would normally get from them so you guys can let me know how their ordering is now if things have gotten better but so I think they just launched it and the whole thing is um like 170 or so which is comparable to what HSN was offering it for and then I don't even know if I have my discount anymore for being platinum because like I haven't ordered in such a long time. But even at that, the, the prices are still comparable. It used to be that they would come out and it's like fifty dollars less, and you're like, "What? I just ordered it!" <laughs> you know. So anyway, uh, just something I noticed. So I don't know if that's good or bad or how you want to look at that, but I just thought it was interesting. <laughs> that's all. Um, let's see. And then it comes with the three big paper pads. So let me move these things out of the way, and then we'll look at. Tonic stuff. Oh, the tonic stuff is fun. I just ordered, I just placed an order. I don't think it was because anything was going on. Because a lot of times, you know, I'll place an order because I have a sale or something like that. It was just some stuff I wanted to pick up. So, um, so this is the Twas Night Before Christmas with the foil detail paper. So, obviously, back here is just what it is. Oh, this is cool. Um, you know what? Let me cut this open. You know, I didn't check on craft stash since usually whenever HSN launches something, a lot of times right around the same time or right afterwards, craft stash has it, or like I said, Crafters Companion themselves will have it. So if Crafters Companion has it, I have a feeling craft stash probably has it too. I know they have the gnome collection, um, which I linked last in the last video, but I'll link it to this one too, just in case. And craft stash is just you know they have a U.S. site, they have a U.K. site. I think everything sells, they send it out of the UK anyway. I've never had a problem with them, so I really like them, and they always have really good prices. But look at that. So it's like six by six papers in this one. This one has like tags or some kind of, yeah, on one side it's all foily, and the other side is plain. That's kind of cool because it's already double sided and you can write on the back side, so that's cool. Really cute papers here. Oh, I would have loved to have had these for the swap. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> Santa Claus being a little creeper there. And look at that. Love that kind of thing. It has some foil on this one. Or the background paper or the back side of it. And some people prefer one sided paper because you don't have to choose to maybe cover up the back side or not show it at all. But it just gives you a more, um, I think, value added there because you can use either side. And if the backside happens to show, it's pretty. 
Okay, this is a mixed card, luxury mixed card. So it's just glitter and, let's see, foil, 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 <laughs> glitter, glitter, glitter. Okay, so it's um, metallic or foil paper and then the glitter paper. I have plenty of that stuff. I really wanted the printed paper pad. And then, of course, um, this is Pearl card. I would have loved if this was vellum, because I have all the pearl in the world from <laughs> Carver's Companion already, but gold, red, green, and blue. So that is that. And let's see here. Tonic stuff. I hope this is my order. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, I know they're also sending a few things that I think this is bigger than a few things that they would be sending. So, okay. What do we have? Oh, you know what? A lot of this is, um, I don't know, just got boring stuff, but like supplies, right? So, hold on. Oh, cool. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, mm, let me put this to the side. So I want to try their blending brushes because they had them for a good price at the time. I'm assuming they're probably still the same price. I don't see why they would have changed it right now. But, oh, that feels pretty. Ooh, I like that. I like the way it just feels on my hand. So I got a couple of these because um, I figured, okay, like rainbow colors and what I normally use. So, like, I got these four. And if I like them, I'll order more of them. So there's a large and a small one. Um, like I guess I think they were nine bucks. I think LDRS has a set of like five for like 20 bucks, but I guess it just depends on what you want and the sizing and all that. I don't know. Um, but I hadn't tried these out yet and a lot of people love them and so I want to try them. So I grabbed those and then I grabbed two of these guys. Now these aren't inexpensive because I think they're each nine or eight or nine bucks and sometimes they're a little more. I think they were on sale. Um, but this is basically a blending brush but way bigger. Oh, and it still feels just as smooth. I was wondering, because for some reason, the look of it, it looks like the bristles would be hard, right? But, which wouldn't make sense, because they do have some hard bristle ones. I guess that's kind of what I was imagining. Those are the ones I use, uh, the double-sided ones. Like I'm looking right at them right now. They're um, for, like, the embellishment mousse and stuff. But this feels really smooth, really soft. Cool. And then it has its own little case thing. So what I would do with this kind of thing, again, is, like, you know, Roy G. Biv, right? I'd get one for each color of the rainbow, and then just keep using them with those colors as a, instead of like one for each color you might have which uh, what I mean is like a dark green a light green a you know yellow a deeper yellow like no it's yellow it's green and that's how I would treat it so that's kind of what I did here I know I use pink and green a lot for like different things and maybe not even green um, like purple or something but either way I would have purple pink and then like blue yellow green orange over here you know something like that that's kind of how I was envisioning it. I got some replacement blades. Now, supposedly these work. This is compatible with both the Advantage V blade and Super Trimmer. And the Advantage V blade are is my other paper trimmer I have from Tonic. It's down here somewhere. But, you know, I use my guillotine so often, I don't really even use this one anymore. But, yes, okay, good. Hopefully. Because it was a different color. And this one did come with two blades. I just, of course, don't know where the other one is. Because... Where would you put it when it comes in? I'm like, eh, I just put it somewhere else. But yeah, so since it was a different color, I was kind of scared, but it's the same. So that's good. You just pop it in there and you're good to go. All right, cool. Ooh, well, I'll pop that out later. So I grabbed a couple of those because I think they're only like four or five bucks. But I needed them, so I went ahead and jumped since I keep forgetting to order them whenever I go to order. Um, again, you know, basic kind of tool things. Oh, I did pick up the um, the stamps for the stamp club. So this is just like another set of stamps that they have that comes in and out of stock all the time. It's the Happy Mail envelope stamp set. So again, for your envelope, so you can stamp this and then write your you know recipient's address. It has like these little corner pieces. It has a little sign which would be cute to also stamp and put your um, you know your addressing. Happy mail, hand stamp because I can't draw. <laughs> Sweet friends sending, I miss you. Handmade just for you. We have to and from. Pretty please, do not bend. Thank you. <laughs> That's cute. Um, crafted with love. Snail mail. I mean, you can never throw it away. <laughs> Whatever, because you're going to put I made this for you. You can never throw it away. Licked with my spit. <laughs> Happy thoughts. That's gross. <laughs> but very funny. <laughs> uh, not licked. <laughs> Act impressed. Thinking of you. Smiles. Uh, anyway, lots of cute things on here. So. Happy to have that. I finally picked that up. I always think that I got it, and then I'm like, wait, I don't have that yet. 
this is actually kind of like a bundle because they sold it as a bundle, but it came with the um, craft tacky glue. Oh, this is a big boy. This is the one I have from the last um, craft kit. So I didn't realize this was going to be so big, so that's cool. I'm going to have to put this away for now because I need to use up the other one. But um, Really, I was buying this. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. The beautifully embellished knapsack die set. And this is a big, a good size die, I can tell. Um, but maybe it's just what's in here. You know what? Well, I'll make a video on it, but as you can see, this larger piece, largest die is 6.2 by 9.8. So... If you have a machine that's wide enough to cut this, that's great. If it's not long enough, then you can do that trick where you cut halfway through and then move the plates and then cut the other half out. Um, or whatever's left. But um, but that's a big boy. So, look how cute that little knapsack. I mean, they just have such... Uh, I am so impressed. Tonic does really, really cool stuff. Um, and then it came with, the again, the glue and then pearl white paper and ivory sheen paper just as a little bonus. So that's how that was sold as a bundle. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this was going to have twine and stuff. So this is the stuffed pocket whole shebang. Now, I picked this up just because I couldn't choose from all the different little bits that are in here or pieces. So they are selling this um, stuffed pocket thing. And somebody asked me if I got it. And I said, oh, not yet. But at the time, it was not yet. It was, I have it now. So I bought the whole shebang. So it came with denim blue paper. It came with cornflower blue paper. How cute. And Blossom Pink. These are um, classic cardstock. And it came with a little twine in mauve purple, which is adorable. I love their twine. I don't know if you can see. It's a little thicker than like normal stuff. But it doesn't really like fall apart or, you know what I'm saying, sometimes it unravels or something like this. It's good stuff. Um, I have the gray one and a green one and a pink one that I already have going over here. But... Um, so I've never even made one of these before, but I know people make them, I would think, by hand, or I don't know what they use, but um, really cute thing. It's just not something that I usually was into, but I just thought this was so cute, like everything that goes into this. So this is the main set, and I'll show you these things because it's kind of hard to decipher. They do have these things on Craft Stash, but again, like when you're looking at it, you're like, okay, I need this, you know, this has the same picture, is this... Okay, so this is the main die right here, the Loaded Pockets Pristine Pocket Die Set. It has 20 dies. And so it makes something like this. Like, I like the look of this. I think that's very pretty. But you can layer it up and do all these different things that make it look more like this or however. This is just a set of edge border dies. Now, you can use this on an envelope, on a card. I would say a card. Um, if you want, you don't have to use it just on this. It's just border dies. So there's eight dies in here. So you can see. Pretty, pretty. Oh, you know what? Now I think about it, and I have to use those on a card. So you can pop those on there. So I'm assuming it's like edges, you know, and then inlays, however. So that's extra, you know what I'm saying? It's not necessary, but it's just nice to have. This is the Loaded Pockets Beautiful Bobbins die set, which is really cute. It just cuts your little bobbin, you know, and you can put different things. Because basically the Loaded Pockets, if you're gifting it to somebody or, you know, making something go along with, I don't know. You're just putting a bunch of fun things in there, so this is helping you do that. Put a little twine, a ribbon, you know, maybe you cut it out with something, do your washi, I don't know. Um, however you want, whatever you want to put on there. Super cute, and it does some embossing. Um, this one is the Loaded Pockets Polybag Headers Die Set. So, um, if you guys watched the swap yesterday, I think, was it Teresa's? She replaced, like, the, um, polybag <laughs> header, um, on some things that she had picked up, right? And then she used pretty papers and made her own, uh, little, uh, toppers like this. So this basically does that for you, but it makes the little loop and everything so it looks like something you picked up at the store or, you know, however you want. Or maybe you put some twine on there. Whatever you want to do with that. But it comes with different ones. Uh, cuts all these poly bag hanging hole elements. So you can do stuff like that. Really cute. One thing I did notice is that I don't think this set has these guys. They have some other things that they came out with <laughs> that are on Craft Stash. I don't even think they're on Tonic right now. Um, that look like... I don't know how to explain it. I think some of them are like embroidery hoops or like an oval shape. I don't know. But supposedly it goes back to this set too. So that was Loaded Pockets Poly Bag Headers. This is Loaded Pockets Pure Elegance Envelope Die Set. And it makes this little elegant, <laughs> uh, elegant, elegant envelope die. So it makes an elegant envelope, sorry. Um, a square. So it looks like it cuts whatever you want to put in there too plus the square because that's kind of what it, I would imagine this outer die would just cut 
an insert, you know, like a little, whatever you want to tuck in there. So it can make a card, it can do it however you want. It's just something cute to add in there. It even has like the, I mean, there's so much going on. It has the embellishments, like the little embossing elements. It has the little circles to make the little tie. Oh, that's probably why they include twine too, because you kind of need it for a lot of these projects. Um, this one's different. This is the Loaded Pockets Charming Corner and Inserts die set. Now, I love this one because I love this corner thing. This is kind of funky, the shape, but um, for me, I really like this part of it. Because look how cute, and it's dimensional, right? So when you cut it, it already has like a gusset of about half an inch, I said, I would say. And I guess if you didn't want that, you could flatten it out. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just cut some of it off and then still stick it down to your project so it's just a pocket without the dimension. But I really like this. I think this is really cute. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. So what this is, is just two of these, basically, is what it looks like. Maybe I'm, yeah. Uh, one this way, one this way, you know. Um, so it makes its own little thing, instead of even attaching it to the main thing. And then this guy, so I was just like, everything is cute, cute, cute. Loaded Pockets Rosette die set. Yes, I have Rosette dies already. Do I have tonic ones? I don't. So I picked this up because I think it's super cute. So it contains five dies. Man, I almost did it in one shot, you guys. Usually at the very beginning is one of my... I have to start taking my Ricolas. So this time at the very end, got a little something dry in my throat. Okay. Super cute. Um, and it comes with uh, this larger one that makes like the little cutie one right here. And the straight one, which of course we just make straight edge. Um, I guess you can kind of see them. You know what's interesting is that that is not this one. Or is it? Oh, yes it is. What is going on? See this picture? It has like little doo -doo 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 pokey pokies, but it doesn't show. Oh, because that's on the other side. Oh, you guys, did I even show you? You can do it on the other side. So like this one, when they scrunched it, they had this side showing. So that's why it looks like this. But if you want to scrunch it on the other side and have this side showing, then you have something that looks different, right? That is so smart. So it gives you more versatility. It's like um, that. I'm assuming. I don't know. We'll see when we get in there. Um, five dies. And then... Yeah. And then here, what they did to get the different sizes, they probably cut off one of the ends, one of the ends, right? So that it makes it smaller, and now you can layer them. That's smart. And then it has little heart, little flowers and stuff. So I got the whole thing. Again, they're selling bundles like these three, and this two, and these whatever, or all of it, or, you know, even uh, Craft Stash is doing the same kind of thing, where it's just like... A whole bunch of them uh, and then single ones or however so I just want to go through them with you so you can have an idea of what that is and this is the kind of project that takes a little time so um, when I get to it it'll probably be like some of it and then maybe some embellishments and then stuff like that like we'll work from there right from the base set um, all right guys uh, thanks for watching I do have a freeform Friday coming up in a little while I don't think I put the name Freeform Friday in it because it's uh, Spellbinder's uh, review of the little um, special delivery car, which is adorable. Everybody, you guys are all commenting because some people say, oh, I have a V-Dub. Or um, some other, uh, one of my other girls had said um, that she has a Mini Cooper and that's what it reminds her of. Like, it's just the cutest little car. So um, I have a whole video using that with some backgrounds and some other fun things. So I think that's a good Freeform Friday, but I'll release that in just a little while. Um, basically the swaps are all out. I'm going to take the last, I think, 10 to the post office this morning, but everybody else already got um, their uh, notifications that they went out yesterday. And then I still am waiting on two and I've talked to uh, one of those gals, but either way, hopefully they get here soon and then I will reveal those last two. Um, in an upcoming video and then uh, swap those out hopefully so fingers crossed they arrive soon and um, yeah you guys thanks for watching um, I'll see you guys in just a little while all right bye now